Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Tonight I am calling my thrift haul Corning Wear, Depression Wear, and Fiesta Wear. Maybe corny, maybe clever, maybe a little bit of both, but here it is. Well, in addition to corning wear, depression wear, and uh, fiesta wear, I have a lot of other stuff here also. And I'm gonna start with these beautiful Furstenberg, Germany, Bone China cup and saucer sets. I found them at the Goodwill. They were on Senior Citizen Day. So I paid up roughly $1.50 a set for them. I don't know why I buy cup and saucer sets. I'll probably end up hanging on to them for a while, but I'm hoping that somebody will need them as replacements. As you can see right here, they're two different cup sizes. The pattern is simply called 0689. The back stamp you saw dates anywhere from 1918 to 1966. This is probably closer to the 1950s and 60s uh, back stamp. The company was established in 1747 on behalf of Duke Carl I. It's the second oldest German porcelain producer, the first one being Meissen. I ask, I think about $12 a set. I have 12 sets all together in both patterns. You can always tell fine bone china because it's translucent and if you put your finger behind it and show it up to a light, you should be able to see right through it. You should be able to see right through it now. I picked up this great Nordic Wear Daisy Cake Pan. It's a nine by 13 inch cake pan at the Salvation Army. I paid $2 for it. It's cast aluminum. It's in really nice shape. They, they still make them. They actually make them for William Sonoma. You can see the back here. And I've seen pictures of people who are very artistic cake makers and they make just absolutely beautiful cakes. They're owned by a company called Northland Aluminum Products Incorporated out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's a family owned business, been around, um, been around since 1946. Like I said, you can still find these new. They're great pans. I, oh, I did want to mention that this company is um, responsible for introducing the butt pan in the 1950s. So that's how long they've been around. I'm going to ask about $12 for this pan right here. Took a ride over to the Positive Thrift Store as kitchenware was half price if you had your $5 key ring, which I did. So I picked up these Fiesta Wear mugs. They were marked $5. I paid $2.50 a piece for them, which is kind of a little over the limit for what I usually pay for Fiesta Wear, but they're really hard to resist. So I paid $15 for six right here. I have three in the Sunflower that dates 19 or 2001. I have one cobalt blue right here, which is the only color I don't have. That's 1986 and two in the scarlet red that date to 2004. Production of Fiesta Wear started in 1936, stopped in 1973, and um, started back again in 1986. Fiesta Wear has been known to produce 52 colors so far since the line was introduced, and they're kind of known for adding new colors every year. These have the handles here. These are called Tom and Jerry handles, the ring handles, and that refers to the alcoholic beverage and not the cartoon character. Um, I'm going to ask, I think, maybe $5 for the cobalt, sell off the three sunflower for probably about $15, and maybe, I think, $10 for the two scarlet. Fiesta Wear was made by Homer Laughlin, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. Goodwill was orange this week, and I picked up a bunch of stuff in orange. I paid $3 for everything you see here. These are Corning Grab It Bowls. Well, Grab It Bowls, because that's what you do. You grab them. I love Corning Grab It Bowls. I have a whole set myself. They date to 1988, and I found these two bowls separately. 
pay 99 cents for both of them. And then a little farther down, I saw these two flat looking packages and I realized, oh, those are the matching lids. And not only are they the matching lids, but they're both lids. They made a plastic lid and they made a glass lid for it. I'm gonna put that on that way, even though I know you know it goes that way. So this was a really good find. People love grab it bowls. And I don't think I'll have any problem getting $25 for this whole lot you see right here. In the last video, I had found a one quart Spice of Life corny casserole. Spice of Life dates 1972 to 1987. The next day at Salvation Army on 25% off day, I found the one and a half quart casserole. Also in great condition. Um, nothing wrong with it at all. It has the original lid right here. I paid approximately the same amount of money. I paid $3 for the last one. I paid about, about $3 for this one as, like I said, it was Senior Citizen Day. I did wanna show you right here. You might be familiar with this or you might not, but you can see right there the corning where it has the letter A and then it says the one and a half quart. I did some research trying to figure out what some of these letters meant. I knew what some of them meant, but I found a really great website. So I'm gonna pass just some of that on to you. The A stands for post-1972, Spice of Life being 1972 to 1987. If you find a piece, sorry about that, with an A on it, it's post-1972. I can go on and on and on first. There's just so many different letters. I'm just gonna give you a few. If you find a piece marked with P, that's the original Corning Ware, 1962 to 1971. And let's see, I'll throw one more in. If you find one with a C, it originally stood for Centura casserole saucepan line, uh, both the round and the square designs. And they had that, they used the C for until 1977. After 1977, the C was reissued for the classic elegance line um, that took it into the mid 1980s. Enough of that, I think I'm going to ask probably about $20 for this casserole right here. Not the $5,000 you can see it listed for on eBay. Popped into Salvation Army the other day to see what they had. They didn't have much of anything. The color, the half price color of the day was yellow. This beautiful little cup here was yellow. Unfortunately, it did not have a saucer. It's Tuscan English Bone China. It's just beautiful. I'll show you the inside. It's kind of pretty pale pink to it. And I, when I did some research, I noticed that this floral pattern, this rose and gray floral pattern you see right here, they made a lot of different designs in this pattern with different handles and different colors on the bottom. I did find the blue one with the blue rim here, and it's just had a pattern name, which was 8639H. I would date this probably to the 40s and 50s, but I can tell you for sure that it predates 1967 because the company, <laughs> excuse me, which was founded in 1878 in Staffordshire, England, sold the company over to Wedgwood in 1967, and they added the prefix Royal Tuscan to their logo or backstamp. This does not say Royal Tuscan, it simply says Tuscan. So I know it predates 1967. I think of just a cup alone, I can probably get $4, 4 to $5 for it. It's in beautiful condition, and it's just such a pretty, pretty little teacup or coffee cup. I picked this up, I believe I picked it up at the Positive Thrift Store. It was a really great find. I think I paid $2.50 for it. It's Pyrex Opal Wear. It's a 023. It's a one and a half quart. And it's got a beautiful, well, it's got a beautiful, it's in gorgeous condition. I just wanted to show you right here the inside. It needs a little cleaning, but there's no scratches, no chips, no anything on it. I just love the clean look of white opal wear. This lid is called a utility lid. A lot of people also refer to it as a pie lid. It's also in perfect condition. The Pyrex opal wear lid you see right here, the covered casserole, I mean, not the lid, the lid and the casserole. It, it was a promo piece, 1956 to 1958. It came with a really cool metal um, cradle with white handles there, kind of very modern looking. A nice casserole to find, again, 1956 to 1958, promotional piece. And I'm gonna ask, I think, about $20 for it. Pick these up at uh, the Goodwill, they're Hazel Atlas apple saucers. Actually, the pattern's called Orchid. 
dates between 1940 and 1955. I picked up six saucers in wonderful condition for three dollars. Unfortunately, they didn't have the cups. The cups that came with them, you can see right there, they sit right in the middle, are just a very plain shaped cup, nothing fancy. I think I can get probably about $14 for the set of six saucers. I had an hour to kill last Sunday, so I took myself across the street over to Renninger's Flea Market to see if I could find anything good there. It was a nice cool day. Don't like to go when it's hot, um, but it wasn't. Anyways, I did find this magnificent set. It's so magnificent, I thought it deserved its own little doily here. It was marked $90 for the set. Everything was 60% off. So I paid $56 for this set and it's a lot of money for me, but it was well worth it. This is Hazel Atlas in the Florentine one pattern. Remember I'm saying one because I'm gonna go back and talk about number two, Florentine number two in a minute. It's also referred to as Poppy because that's the flower here. They produced, Hazel Atlas did um, the Florentine pattern between 1932 and 1935 in both the Florentine one, which this is, and the Florentine two. They came in uh, the yellow you see here. This has a little uranium in it, but it's not uranium glass. It came in clear, pink, the yellow you see here, cobalt blue, or they called it Ritz blue, and the green, which this is my piece right here. I do collect the green Florentine pattern. This is the number one too, I'll tell you about that in a minute. And this is uranium. And the biggest difference in the Florentine one and the Florentine two, is I'll show you right here. The Florentine one, it has a scalloped bottom. The Florentine two has a very round bottom and you will not find this gorgeous picture in the Florentine two pattern. The picture is totally different. It's a very cool picture though. It's more of a cone shape. Um, it's a very art deco angular looking picture. Nothing like this one. These are really hard to find, especially in the yellow. I saw, the last one I saw sold, just the picture alone, and this whole set is magnificent. The whole set is just perfect. Sold for uh, $74, just the picture alone. I have one, two, three, four, five cups to go with it, tumblers. I think I'm gonna ask about 150 for the whole entire set and um, see if I can't get that for this. I think I'm, I probably will, because like I said, it's very hard to find this, especially in the yellow. And that's funny because usually yellow depression glassware is one of the most common colors. If I were to be selling the Florentine two pitcher, which as I said, looks nothing like this, you can pick those up for $10. You know, they're everywhere. This, as I said, not so much. They did reproduce some of the number two Florentines. They did not reproduce this, this number one Florentine this very elegant pattern you see right here. Pick these up at Goodwill. They were orange, so they were half price. I paid $3. No, I did not. I paid $4 for three of these. They're Anchor Hawking Fire King Milk Glass Chili or Cereal Balls, as you can see right there. They're gold, as you can see right there also. They date to the 1960s. I'm gonna ask $10 for the set of three. This here is just tape. I'm gonna be able to clean that up. So they're in really nice condition. I know I have said before that I'm gonna start throwing some of my personal things into my hauls because I'm just inundated with stuff and uh, great stuff, but they're just sitting in my cabinets and there's no need for that, so I'm gonna start passing stuff along. Anyways, this is my personal butterfly gold butter dish, Pyrex Opalware, dates 1972 to 1981. It is in mint condition. I took amazingly good care of it. I don't use it now, I use my Smith Taylor Smith. So instead of just having it sit there in the cupboards, I'm going to list it for $15. Excuse me, the Butterfly Gold Pyrex was released to complement the Corel dinnerware pattern of Butterfly Gold. Pyrex compatibles. This collection here is also part of my personal collection, but again, they're just sitting in the cabinets and uh, I want to pass them on to somebody who wants to display them or even better yet use them. They're all Hazel Atlas. Let's see if you can see the mark right there. It's a very tiny mark right there. 
hazel atlas. Every piece here, I believe, is marked except for the blue circus cup. It's all called kitty wear. It dates in the 1950s to 1960s. I have, um, they're all in great shape. This one is a sherbet cup here, or dessert cup. You can see it's got clowns over here and a really nice circus pattern. I have another circus mug right here in the red. This one is called a prayer mug. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Wonderful condition. When I started this collection, I only bought things in perfect pieces. Uh, this one I love to death. It's my Robin Hood set. See right here, it's in great condition. So this one I actually have the matching plate. It's not a saucer. It's a child's plate. I'm going to ask, I think, $50 for this whole lot. And that seems to be the going price if I were to sell it as a lot. Picked up this print at the Goodwill. Now I'm into looking at the pictures and the prints. Just fell in love with it and it's signed. This print you can see right there. It cost me $3.99. It wasn't half price. You saw it has the original tag on the back. And Diane Ulster Pedersen just made wonderful paintings of roosters and hens and all sorts of different country themes. They sell all over the place. This one's in pretty good condition. I'm going to uh, do a little more research and get a fair price to sell this. I am going to sell it, but I've seen them go anywhere from, I think, like maybe $25 up to $80. I don't know why. More research to come on that. This will be for sale, and it will be for sale at a reasonable price. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Today's February 1st, so happy February everybody tomorrow's grand hogs day so for all my friends who are freezing out there this winter i sure hope the grand hog sees its shadow for you and to all you super bowl friends enjoy super bowl tomorrow and may the best team win kansas city chiefs have a great day we'll see you again real soon bye sunday and may the best team win kansas city royals well or Don't pyrex butter yeah i hope that that grand hog <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs>